<clears throat> Hello, welcome to Anson Griffin's Occasional Series of YouTube Tutorials featuring MATLAB. Today we're going to look at a post, a uh, MATLAB blog post by Sean Nowoski. So Sean, just there, he has the full IP credit, it's all his work, and if you want to look up the original, there it is. So Sean gives the code on the post as well, and I run the code and I made a PDF and the PDF will be available in the description link. So it might be easier to get the code and if you can't see the code here. Um, there it is, okay. And there's also that file there for the polygon matrices. We'll look at that in a minute. So briefly what we're trying to do is well, well over a year ago, the ever given ship got stuck in the Suez Canal. You want to take that image and you want to place it. This is the headquarters of um, Matworks in um, Boston and you want to put the boat there. So that's what we're trying to do. So X out of that. So PDF code, there's, it's reasonably advanced, so I won't be going into too much detail, just to just give you an idea of what's going on. So here, yeah, we tidy up everything. We read in the ship. We draw a polygon around the ship. I'm not going to run it. Sean and his one, he had the polygon predefined, but you can use the mouse to go around the ship and get the polygon. And then we want this function here, poly to mask. And if you're new to poly to mask, I have a YouTube tutorial from about 10 or 11 years ago, just there. And then we want to erode that mask there. We'll see this in a second. And if you don't know what erosion is, I have a YouTube tutorial there. And we're going to erode that. And then we're going to have a little tile layout. So, just a little look there. Oh yeah, and then we're going to do a cast operator to convert it to U into eight. Okay. So there's the mask boat using polygon to mask. There's the actual ship itself. And now we're get the, going to get the orientation of the boat, you know, what angle that, that is using region props. And the region props tells me it's 19 degrees. And I think, just give me one sec here. Yeah, can't just find it here now. And then we rotated that boat by minus 19.68 degrees. And we got it there. Now, somewhere in my comments, there's, I have a YouTube tutorial on region props. So I just can't find that just at the moment. We'll, It'll pop up somewhere. There's the original image again. Now we just want to crop the ship out. So we get the bounding box using region props. Oh, there we are. There's my YouTube tutorial on region props. So we get the bounding box and then using the bounding box, uh, we crop it out and we just show the ship thumbnail there. Now we want to get the satellite imagery. So we're looking at a satellite imagery for Boston, Massachusetts. Um, Sean, you could use web map. And again, you could use your mouse to select the latitude and longitude limits. But Sean just hard, hardwired them in here. Probably best. OK. Then we're going to find the auto layer of that and the auto layer O R T H O would be the layer where there is no uh, digital perspective or where there's no perspective distortion. So in other words, when you're at the edge of the image in the middle of the image, one pixel is one meter or whatever, or two meters or three meters in the X direction and the Y direction. And it's the same for all pixels in the image. I have there. So I took that from the USGS just in case you hadn't heard the term auto image. 
So we find the image using the latitude and longitude that Sean specified. There it is. Now we've the hard work begins. Uh, remember the boat was horizontal and we want to fit the boat in here. So Sean reckoned it was about 75 degrees. Now I suspect there was a bit of trial and error there, but minus 75 works. So we turn the boat 75 degrees. Yeah, looks about right. Bit of a check here. We don't actually need these lines, but you use region props to get the uh, aspect ratio. So the ship is just under 400 meters long. The ship beam is 58.8 meters long. Using region props again, get the major axis length and the minor axis length for that thumbnail. And the ratio is 6.57, well for me, and the actual one is 6.8017. And the reason why we're out a little is, or I'm out a little is, it all depends on the polygon to mask. Okay, now we have to um, get the image height and the image width. And here you have to go back to, in the US, you'd say high school trigonometry. In Ireland and the UK, you'd say secondary school, which you have to get the image height and the image length in meters. So we've done all that there. And then this is new to me. Uh, you want to make the background transparent. That's the background of the ship because you want to be able to see the, the lake behind it. And there's a difficult line here. Let's see any way I could describe it. So what we're doing here is the all inside here. Find all the, the non-true. In other words, find all the zeros. And all the zeros is black. And the rep mat is replicate matrix. So find all of that. And one, one, three is one row one, column one, as it were, for the three layers. And then make it all NAN, not a number. When you make it not a number, it becomes transparent. I didn't know this. So, and then we just show the ship overlay. Now it looked the same as before. The only thing is, it doesn't look transparent, but where the mouse is there and there, they are transparent. Now we want to try and land the ship, and we want to land the ship in the lake. So we have to convert it from latitude and longitude to x, y meters. So we need a coordinate reference system, and that is 26986. And there we have it. So we use this inbit mat matlab function command prod grs, so uh, projective coordinate Cartesian system. Sorry about that. Con Sorry, conformal system. Apologies. And so we did that. We get the latitude and longitude of the lakeside reference. And then on this line here, using proj forward, that's proj forward we've got from uh, here. Remember P, and there will be one of the things will be a punch forward. So we can get that into X and Y meters. We show it. So there it is in X and Y meters. No 10 to the minus 5 here. And then we want to reference the raster cells to map coordinates using this command here, map reference cells. We have the coordinates in meters. The size of the ship we know uh, because that will be just there. It's 437 by 177. And then finally, oh, I did a screen grab there. That's before we stuck the boat. And then on this line here, we're going to stick the boat. And there's the boat stuck in the lake. I just got a few warnings here, but nothing to worry about. Hope that helped a little. And thanks very much for listening. <laughs>